Hey guys, it's Nima from Demostech and today we're checking full-size folding Bluetooth keyboard. Let's go! Okay, so yeah, well, technically I already did open it once, but it doesn't really matter. So yeah, let's do it like this so you can pretty much see all the details and Basically, uh, why did I get this keyboard? Well, you'll see shortly. Yeah, it's like that. Right. So, uh, let's check the accessories. Yeah, there's not much. I think there's just a regular USB A to C cable. Let's see. Yeah, that's a USB A to USB C. And that's very important because most of those types of keyboards are micro USB still. And I did find one with a USB-C, to be honest. I ordered it from AliExpress. I saw this on Amazon as well, but I don't know, on Amazon I saw it under multiple name brands and they're all the same one, at least that's how it looks. But uh, I don't remember if I did find eventually something with USB-C, but it was much more expensive than ordering from AliExpress. So here we are. Uh, there is some guide which uh, can be actually useful here and there. Um, someone marked you something, I don't know, maybe some branding. Well, that one is on Chinese, but I think, yeah, here it is. So uh, we have an English manual and we have some technical specs that uh, we can go through. Basically, that's a pretty nifty thing. Let me try to show you uh, all the specs. So yeah, you have uh, all the sizes, when it's open, when it's closed, working distance, 10 meters. Oh, uh, working distance in terms of Bluetooth. Okay. Within battery capacity, 140 mAh, working voltage, 3.7 volts, use touch, the working... what? Use touchpad, the working current, 11 mAh, I'm not really sure what that is. Flip time, 30 minutes. Charge specification, 5 volts, 1 ampere or 2 amperes, and touchpad size, yeah, whatever, that one is small. Weight, 222 grams, which uh, is quite a lot, but, well, it's quite a lot for what I'm gonna do. Standby current, 1 ampere, sleep current, 37 microamperes, okay. Yeah, we can weigh, press key, oh well, uh, so it can go to sleep, okay. So, uh, we have all those gestures for the mouse pad or touchpad better said, was supposed to be work on Windows, but uh, I did uh, see, I think, at least some of them working on uh, Android as well, and you're probably already getting the idea. So, uh, here is the keyboard, and yeah, I think it's that way. So, uh, let's open it up. No, let's first just grab all of those away. And now, uh, let's try to see how it looks and yeah it is with magnets and well the mechanism is quite good actually so uh, I did see many keyboards like that and some are better some are worse yeah, I'm not really sure if that's the best or not let's peel this thing out as well oh that was a nice peeling okay so can you hear this not even pressing on the buttons just touching them. So yeah, the buttons aren't that stable, but it's not something too bad. Anyways, um, let's try just to type, like, uh, it's not connected, but yeah, you know. The trouble is quite good, actually. I'd say it's about the same as a pretty decent laptop. I guess it's about the same as, um, I don't know, some Lenovo laptops, maybe, something like that. Uh, Feels quite nice. Spacebar. Enter key. Escape. Control. Shift. I know it feels quite nice, to be honest. The touchpad. Oh, there is a click on the touchpad. Uh, it is a weird click, but technically you can just touch it and uh, it should click as well. Now, uh, when it's closed, there are magnets to hold it in place. So basically, uh, it won't open or something in your back or something. Um, and by the way, uh, let's try to open it while it's in that way, and uh, the reason is I want to show you the mechanism. I'm trying to, yeah, you see how it moves? So yeah, it holds it in place, and same goes for this side. And 
yeah, well, it's pretty much quite a nice keyboard, uh, small size, obviously, but yeah, it is quite good. The touchpad is small, but it is what it is. Anyways, in terms of why, you know, first of all, uh, I have now this thing. And this thing, well, it will be probably very hard to show, but we'll try anyway. Uh, this one can show you where it has magnets. So I'm going to try and find the magnets. Here's one. And let me try to, you see that thing? Uh, let me try to think maybe this side now. This is actually probably better. So you can see that black dot. Um, let me try to maybe increase. Yeah, now you can see it. So uh, yeah, you can see that black dot. And if we'll go to probably down here, yeah. We have another one here. And let's move the keyboard just behind or something. Yeah, you can see here uh, both of the magnets uh, that it closes on. And my guess, yeah, here at the top there are two as well. And one here and one here. So yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight magnets. That's quite awesome, I'd say. And this will basically hold the keyboard in place so it won't open. If there is here an on off switch, well, uh, it works like, you know, you just turn it on, that's it, but uh, I don't know, that thing like feels like it's stuck a little, but it's in a good way, which means you won't accidentally turn it on or off, so I quite like it. Now, there are here a uh, couple of buttons, you know what, let's just go ahead and pair it with our Samsung. Now you can probably uh, see both uh, the screen and the keyboard. Now, the keyboard already has been paired. So I just turn it on and you can see that it has like, okay, you hear the Bluetooth notification now. And basically I can pretty much, first of all, uh, move a mouse. As you can see, I have a mouse, works pretty well. And by the way, this keyboard can uh, connect to up to uh, three Bluetooth devices. And you can see that we are on number one here. And we have two, we have three. We have a caps lock notification like that. And we have a battery notification, which uh, I guess uh, will lit up when it needs to charge or when it's charging and when it's fully charged probably as well. Anyways, uh, let's try to type something and we might have some problem here, but let's see. And you see, the keyboard is automatically up and as you can see, it's on a different language. Now, here's a quirk on, uh, I'm not really sure if it's Samsung side or Google side. But currently I'm using the Gboard and as you can see it's on one language and the keyboard writes on another. So what I'm going to do is actually switch to Samsung keyboard. Sadly this is the keyboard that works really well with uh, that thing. And as you can see I do have some trouble with it as well. But yeah, I'm not really sure how you not turn it off or something. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we'll still have it okay okay great so uh, as you can see now I'm on Hebrew but on this keyboard you can I think it's shift and space let's see yeah no uh, now it's Russian yeah yeah okay so uh, now we can uh, write easily and yeah the keyboard is quite nice I mean uh, do you want to do the uh, regular one a quick uh, brown fox whatever I don't remember the, what comes next but yeah, it works really well. And we have some buttons like um, the light, so um, we can change the brightness from uh, the keyboard. Uh, we can uh, open the search. Let's try, I'm not really sure how that will work. Okay, not really sure which kind of search it is, but let's hit escape for now. I think uh, it will search here for uh, a different uh, note. We have here uh, the media buttons, which, um, you know, the regular ones I don't want to press because it will start some music. Uh, we can mute the phone and unmute, so yeah, you can see that. Same goes uh, with uh, volume, so yeah, you can control the volume, actually it's very smooth. And here you can jump between uh, Bluetooth 1, Bluetooth 2, Bluetooth 3, and that will bring you to home, which I'm not going to press. We also have here some buttons. Uh, which will activate when we hit and hold the function key. And we have the option key or win key, uh, command or alt, and the same goes here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the keyboard. Now, by the way, let's see if the capsule will work. 
Um, let's try to demo stack again, and as you can see, the caps lock works really well. Uh, that's quite a cool keyboard. Uh, why did I get it? Easy. You see this thing? The Samsung phone is a really awesome phone that has Samsung DeX. Samsung DeX can wirelessly or non-wirelessly connect to whatever device you want, whether it's a PC and you install the DeX software, whether it's a TV, for example, in a hotel, and I'm getting to somewhere here, and you just connect this, but then you need to use your screen as your touchpad and as your keyboard, which is not the best. The phone gives you a pretty much a whole computer to work with. You can even um, use some remote desktop software to connect somewhere. And this thing will provide you a full desktop experience. I mean, seriously, that's the whole idea here. And this thing can connect both to Android, Windows, and also iOS. Yeah, you can connect it to multiple devices again uh, at once. And uh, the switch is really easy. You just press and that's it, you're on Bluetooth too. Now if I'll write something, uh, it's not connected anymore to the phone. And if I'll go to Bluetooth 1, you'll see in a moment it should uh, reconnect. Uh, it takes some time sometimes. I mean, it is reconnected already. I guess, yeah, you just need to uh, switch to the writing and yeah, that's it. So, um, yeah, as you can see, it works really well. By the way, if you see some wobble, uh, it's my desk. It's not that the keyboard is, I don't know, you need to press hard or something. I just like to press hard. Um, the keys, well, they feel not that mushy, I, to be honest. I mean, uh, by the way, if you hold, yeah, so you can see it feels like that. Uh, I don't know, I really like this keyboard. I mean, uh, I thought it would be worse. By the way, uh, regarding the charging, so as I said, it's USB-C. Uh, here's your charging port here at the top. So, um, yeah, and by the way, in terms of how big it is, you can see that it's about the same, um, well, yeah, probably we need to do it like this, I guess. So, yeah, about same thickness, but uh, keep in mind that my phone has a pretty huge case. But yeah, that's when it folded, and in terms of size, now that's a Galaxy S22 Ultra, so in terms of that, pretty much the same. In terms of that, yeah, it's a little bit, uh, you know, bigger, but totally nice, not something too big. I mean, imagine you take both of this and you have a full-fledged computer, and that's exactly what I'm about to do with this thing. Uh, I'm, well, by the time you see this video, I'm probably already back, but I'm going abroad and I'm going to take this keyboard with me, the phone will be able to connect to any hotel TV with... I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it, I didn't decide yet. Either wirelessly if a TV supports it, and nowadays many TVs support it, or you can uh, grab an HDMI cable or something like that and just connect it directly from USB-C to HDMI. In that case, you will actually probably have some uh, splitter with um, USB-A or something like that, and then you pretty much can work with a regular keyboard or mouse as well, uh, with, uh, you know, with a dongle or whatever. But to be honest, uh, if I take just two of these, it's enough. I mean, I don't need pretty much anything. I might add some, I don't know, Miracast device or something in the future. And that's it. You have a fully fleshed computer uh, pretty much in your pocket. And keep in mind, with this thing you'll bring anyways, because this is your phone and just keep that in your pocket anyways. So you just need to add this thing, which isn't that big, isn't that um, heavy or anything, and we are going to wait it just in case. And basically that's it. It's a fully fleshed computer. I know, I know, Samsung DeX isn't perfect, it's not exactly what uh, we would like, but you can edit Lightroom photos here, you can connect to RDP uh, for your, for example, to your home. You can edit videos, you can write whatever documents you want with uh, such a keyboard. So that will be a very good scenario for me. Let's pause the video for a second, I'll bring the scales, because as always I forgot them. And then we'll check how much that weighs. So we have the scales here, let's go to grams, because um, I guess... Uh, yeah, that's grams, yeah. Okay, so, uh, it's supposed to weight 222 grams, if I remember correctly. Let's check this. And as you can see, it's 233, so yeah, we've been lied again. But come on, it's a very small lie, so I don't really mind another 11 grams, whatever. Uh, actually, I do really like this keyboard. 
I thought I won't, but yeah, I do like it. By the way, this thing, it is plastic, so don't uh, think it's metal or something, but it seems like uh, it's kind of okay plastic, not too bad. By the way, the thickness from this side, that looks thick, but to be honest, it's not too much. Thank you for watching this Demos Tech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.